Belly feast, the term belly feast came out of me being pregnant with my son. I always said my son was having a feast in my belly. He was two weeks late. And then after he was born, I was trying to come up with a name for myself. I was like, maybe I need to be reborn instead of being Iowan. You know, Iowan is going through so much. And my birth name, Yolanda, Yolanda is going through so much. Maybe I need to transform to another name. And I was going to start calling myself Belly Feast, but it didn't fit. Like, you know. I'm still Iowan, I'm still Yolanda. Then I used it for a website because I was developing, I'm still developing my tarot cards and I used it there. But then, um, then it, you know, when I, like last year, I was like, well, I want to do these series of open mics. What shall I call it? I was like, belly feast. And that's why the silhouette of the strong black woman, you know, she got the belly all the way out here about to give birth, a hand on the hip, the little afro. If you look close, you can see the little eyelashes. That's that sister, you know, about to just, very pregnant baby didn't drop just a pinch you know she the baby about to come to give birth you know and that's that's what the whole thing about um art you know whether it's poetry singing um you are birthing your craft on a stage before an audience you know we are your midwives and we're coaching you through you know and um that that's what i like about belly feast to me belly feast is about the birth of the art it's usually not such a big deal for a male but for me it was so I figured virginity was a southern girl with pigtails, jet black velvet skin, big full moon eyes. Her hair smells like coconut butter, something not quite burnt. Her breath like sweet condensed baby milk, lighter than the country fair cotton candy. All my senses except my insides have gone numb. I can't feel my toes on that hot Carolina red sand. My heart smiles on every hopscotch beat, afraid God really didn't want me to feel this way. Virginity was my summer in any city down that long road south, Route 95. The familiar slap of a screen door any 98 degrees Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. A cricket symphony in pitch black evening. I heard auntie tell Virginity to preserve it. Preserves be the peach gelatin that ran real deep in the bottom of old gold top mason jars. My fingers could never touch the bottom. Nothing could ever be more tasty than the jelly of her lips on my tongue. Mm -hmm. Memories of the first time punch my stomach like lightning. She fried them damn butterflies in my stomach, unraveled my intestines, a tear streamed down my face, that sticky jelly substance invisible on backyard line dried sheets, flap innocent in southern breezes. Smiles on our faces divided time. Will we die from too much teenage joy? Eyelids closed, we lost our balance. My knee college became way too sore. I cursed a real country fire, god damn. <laughs> then bitterly sighed. Virginity, I remember her vaguely, the name of any young teenage colored girl raised down south. No girl I ever knew up north had that name. Mm -hmm. wow.